This is Chicago's very own WGN News at 9. Good evening, I'm Mike Amater. And I'm Ray Cordofassi. The family of a teen is pleading for witnesses to come forward with evidence after a hit and run in Wicker Park left their loved one in critical condition. WGN's Dana Rebic is here with the latest. Dana? Well, this teen's injuries are pretty horrific. Uh, she has undergone several surgeries since this happened on Friday, as well as skin grafts. She also has a stint in her brain to reduce swelling. She was hit by this car, then dragged down the street by her hair. The driver is still not in custody. That's my sunshine. That's what we all call her, sunshine. A bumbly and bright incoming high school senior at Legal Prep in West Garfield Park. 17-year-old Nakari Campbell is now in a medically induced coma at Stroger Hospital fighting for her life. She is currently suffering from a broken leg, broken foot, arm. Her neck is broken. She has staples in her head, her hip, her ribs are broken. Nakari Campbell left her home on Milwaukee in Wicker Park just before 1030 Friday night and was walking to meet a friend and then go to a party. Campbell crossed division heading south on Ashland and was then hit by someone driving a 2008 red Mercedes Benz C35 seen in this photo landing on the car's hood. She was on the car. She pleaded for the car to stop. Uh, he came to an abrupt stop, um, throwing her to the ground, running her over and then dragging her uh, for about a block. The driver then taking off westbound on division. You going to talk. You're going to be apprehended. That's your car and whoever owns that vehicle needs to man up. In this image released by Chicago police, a license plate is clearly visible, DC 60012. Family members of this young victim tell us they have received no updates from detectives frustrated by the investigation thus far. If we have the plate, if we're able to track the car, the owner of the car at least should have been in custody and in question by the police. Loved ones now working with an attorney hoping for answers as this teen girl begins a long road to recovery. Uh, I just hate to see her in so much pain. If I could trade places with I would, but that's not something I would wish on anybody, not even my worst enemy. Nakari's family calling her a fighter. Her mother currently at her bedside at Stroger. Now, we did reach out to Chicago police on this case. They tell us the investigation remains active and ongoing and that detectives are working it. Very strange. Thank now, you so much. We're hoping for answers soon. Yeah, really.